Hey, this is Dave from ERC, and I just got the new Runcam Swift Micro 3. Or is it Micro Swift 3? Yeah, Micro Swift 3. I got it I got it backwards. Okay, Micro Swift 3. Just got that in right there. And it looks like this right here. But the difference in this one and the version 2 is this one actually has a TX and RX inputs on the back here. I don't know if you can see that but right in that area, TX and RX. And what that does is you can now control your menus from your radio using your sticks. Woohoo! This is new! So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to wire it up and use those menus with your radio. And I want to tell you there's nothing special about what you do with a radio. You don't even need a Tranus. It could be any radio, but I'll just show you here in my menus right here for my mixer on my Tyrannus I don't have anything in there except this right here just the throttle and the control surfaces just four channels I don't have anything in here that has anything to do with the camera so it's easy to set up as far as the radio goes you can control the menus on the Runcam Micro Swift 3 just with your sticks without doing any settings in your radio. That being said, there are a couple requirements. You do need an F3, at least an F3 flight controller. could be 4 or higher, but I'm using an F3. And you do need to upgrade to Betaflight 3.3. So those two things are necessary. So this is my Betaflight F3 flight controller that I'm using. And as I said, you could use an F4 or higher as well. But I'm using an F3 flight controller. And I just want to go over the wiring. So this is the... OSD section over here. This is the plug for the video in, which I soldered on. This is the plug for the video out right here that would go to the transmitter. So this is the camera, that's the transmitter. This is where the receiver would plug in in PPM mode right here. And then getting to the part that we want to hook up to the camera is serial port 3 or UART 3 right over here. And I'm going to be using the TX and RX. I'm not going to be pulling ground off this port because I already have ground over here where the camera plugs in. So let's go ahead and hook TX and RX up to the camera and the way we do that is we hook TX to the RX on the camera and RX to the TX on the camera. And if you look at the camera here is TX and RX right here. Of course we have the voltage ground and video too and VBAT if you want to pull off voltage to read on your OSD of your camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the provided cable that came with it. And on the other end I've kind of separated up these wires. So I'm not using the blue wire because that's for the VBAT. I'll just read the voltage that comes straight to the camera. Okay, these two wires here are actually the RX and TX that we talked about right there. So all we need to do is plug those right onto here, like that. Just make sure that the, they're crossed with the RX going to the TX and so forth. Now voltage ground and video, this cable right here, I'm going to go ahead and plug that into my video in on my flight controller right here, like that. And then this one will normally go out to the transmitter. So taking a wider angle view, you can see that's what it looks like right there. Those are the two wires I plugged into the camera. So this assumes you've already loaded Betaflight 3.3 on your flight controller already. And we're just going to go in and configure it for the camera. So let's do that now. So I plugged the USB port into the flight controller already. And now I'm going to plug the other end into my laptop. So that's what the lights on the board look like right now. So we're going to be using serial port 3. So when you get into beta flight, you just need to go down to ports right here. And then go ahead and enable UART 3 or serial port 3 for run cam device. So that's right. Usually it's disabled like that. So you just come down and put on run cam device and then save and reboot. I'm going to go ahead and connect again. Alright, so that's really all you need to do. And like I said, you don't have to do anything to the radio. You don't have to go into modes here and do anything. You see modes is completely empty. So nothing in modes whatsoever. 
So that's basically it. That's all you need to do in Betaflight 3.3. And this is what I am using is 3.3. You can see it right there. That's what Runcam said to use. And so I upgraded and that's what I've got. Okay, now let's go ahead and test it. I'm just going to plug in my receiver right there in PPM mode. This is a D4R2 that I'm using, but you could use any other receiver you want. And then let's go ahead and plug in the transmitter and get this thing up on the monitor. Okay, so you can see the camera is hooked up right now. And but I'm just going to go ahead and put the lens cap on. Now I've placed the monitor here right in front of my radio so you can see the monitor and the sticks. So to get into the menu, all you have to do is hold the stick over and you go remote mode and then you just bump it again and it takes you into the menus. Then you can navigate down through the menus with your right hand stick like this. Of course this is mode 2, be different from mode 1 or whatever. But you can go up and down like that and then if you want to enter into a menu you can use this stick again and to get into the menu like that so it's pretty simple and you can change values going left and right like this on this stick so let me move down here I can go to brightness you can see I'm moving and changing brightness right there now if you hold the stick it'll go really fast or you can just bump it to do whatever you want okay so that's it it's fairly simple Runcam has uh, or will have instructions on their site on how to do it, I'm sure. So as you can see, I didn't do anything to the radio as far as setting up anything in it. And all I did on Betaflight was I went to the Ports tab and set the Runcam device on serial port 3, and that was it. The hardest part, I think, was just hooking up the wiring. You know, TX going to RX and RX going to TX, if you just remember that that should be it. The rest of it is just standard setup for an FPV camera. So Runcam's coming out with a lot of new products lately and I'll be doing some more videos on those and keep you up to date so don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notify checkbox and I'll talk to you later.